First of all, Katie, you look incredible in that. Oh, I hear you. people screaming gorgeous off camera. Do you have a stylist <laughs> or was this you out of your own closet? This was Adam. Actually, I've got this um, last year in New Orleans. I was shooting NCIS New Orleans and I had some shopping time, so I picked it up and it's been hanging in my closet ever oh, since. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. this was like a premiere this night. This is the debut everything. of the Green Romper. Perfect. You saw, you saw it here at first. We have the breaking stories. Yeah. Let's talk about some other things, um, like breaking records. Yeah. How does that feel? I know everybody asks you, but coming from me, I'm like, I never broke anything except, you know, plates or my, you know, curfew. Yeah. You know, honestly, more than anything else, it was just, I never saw myself as an athlete. I didn't grow up as an athlete. So the fact that I ended up achieving what I did was pretty crazy and, uh, you know, break, Four times. But yeah, breaking any sort of record or holding an American record in the 100 meters is... Um, it's goosebump stuff. I mean, it's incredible and humbling and re representing the United States anywhere is, is a really yeah. honor. It's, you know, it's an honor, so. Kind of like as big an honor as you can get. Yeah. All right, you break the first time. When you go back for the second time, you set the bar pretty high because it's not you beating someone else. You beating you. No, and I honestly, more than anything, throughout my whole track career, it was all about beating myself. It didn't matter, you know, what number you came in or anything like that. You, it was setting personal goals and deciding to be proud of yourself when you're, you know, regardless, if you, if you did the best you could and you ran faster than you've ever run before. There's the victory. That's the victory. Right. It's the person in the mirror you're competing against. Absolutely. All right. Just so happens she also beat everybody else that looked in the mirror. <laughs> now, let's get out of something else. What do you do for fun? I mean, you're producing, you're directing, you're in movies, and I mean, when do you, like, take time off and go, it's Katie time? Yeah, um... I, I have a really hard time, you can ask my business partner, I have a really hard time even like just going to lunch and not talking about like what we're doing next. You're on a nap and yeah. doing business Yeah, plans. totally. We can't, we physically can't help ourselves. I'm just super type A and I have a really hard time. Even when I'm relaxing, I'm still like multitasking on like three devices. Yeah. So I'm just... You're like, I love this movie. Yeah. Uh, one second, I'll call you right back. Yeah. iPad. My husband's like, you haven't looked at the movie screen once. You know, he, he but takes... But if he quizzed you on it, you'd know everything. Absolutely. That's the yeah. 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 You, you didn't you didn't really observe the movie. You processed it, but your mind was somewhere else. Yeah, absolutely. And then I can answer his questions about what they said in the last scene. Which drives him crazy. Absolutely. And he kind of asked you, like, was he the killer or was it a, you know, yeah. kind of red herring on that one? No. Okay. Now, as far as all the records, the style, the husband and stuff like that, anything make you nervous? I mean, because you've, you've just accomplished and overcome and not, I mean, anyone to just do one of the things you've done. I mean, even just to get on TV or to have a show or produce yeah. something. Anything to make you go, wow, I'm, I'm afraid to do that? Or do you just face them head on? Honestly, uh, what I have coming up is making me incredibly nervous. I'm heading to be a sports analyst for NBC for the Paralympics in Rio. And more than anything, I'm just terrified about pronouncing all the names from around the world. That makes me very nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I was thinking, what can make you nervous? Really, I mean, you're on the starting line, the whole world's watching. <laughs> that, that's beyond nerve-wracking. You're like saying the names? Yeah. I can see that. Saying names from uh, Japan, Africa, you know, tune in for Switzerland, that. Switzerland, those that makes me nervous. Number three is my favorite, Mr. Yeah, Yakamanka yeah. Mama Churi. <laughs> exactly. You know yeah. I'm gonna be watching that. Oh please. They can have you, you know what? Maybe you could have someone else like voice over to you. Yeah. That has a similar voice. To you. I know that we're gonna have a, like a producer in the booth with us that has all of that information. I'm just getting trying to get really good at just m complete, just copying what I hear instead mm -hmm. of think overthinking it. Yeah, I'm not gonna pronounce. I'm just gonna repeat. No. Yep. In the earpiece. Go. Go for it. All right. Let's yeah. third time. It's yeah. Live. Yes, it is so live. Two solid weeks of live television. That would make anybody terrified. But yeah. you know what? If anyone can do it, right here. Any places where people can look up, you know, social media stuff? Yeah, like absolutely. I'm on um, Instagram and Twitter at K Bridget S. And you can Google Katie Sullivan with a, Katie hard. with a Y. Yeah. I'm, I'm, some people do special I'm findable. things. I with a heart over it. And yeah. Stuff and special <laughs> lines. Like, come yeah. on, we did it the right way. Right. And there's only one Katie right here. Find her. Chance TV, we're out. Uh, yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you so Look much.